Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we are in nature. We have no idea what nature really asks of us or what it entails. We embrace it and it gives us joy. Here we also do things. We have no idea what we're doing, but we do it anyway. The only wrong thing for us is not doing and we don't succumb to that temptation often. We prefer to do something and see that it was wrong than not doing anything. Here we have the site of a pond. Finally, after 18 months, we started digging. The excavator is a one-ton mini excavator built in Asia. It's a tenth of the price of a five-ton excavator. If one asks me now which one is better, I really don't know. I oscillate from the one extreme to the other all the time. For this work, definitely a bigger one for making the swales and the other work. I think this is excellent. Clay soil, which is good. Moist clay soil, which is excellent because it becomes so hard in summer when it's dry. It's impossible to dig even with an excavator, or at least my excavator. Thank you to the community for suggesting that I test the soil clay content just in a jar with water. I've done it. I've learned a lot. This is the key way. And there are my samples. It was quite a, an experience to get this excavator out here. I uh, finally managed by pushing it with the boom as a respectable operator should be able to do. Now I've got another thing to mark off on my list of have to do. This excavator, the width of the tracks, 85 centimeter. The height of the seat above the earth, the soil level, is 120 centimeter, and my head is 180 centimeters. I've never been good at ballet, so. Uh, this is a balancing act all the time. It's tough, but I like it. I have taken three samples. The one is I have removed the topsoil and then I took the sample there. So the subsoil is at least 50% clay and the rest organic material, which is already good. Then I've taken a sample here where the clay is quite uh, slippery fine <coughs> here the clay is about 90 percent then i've taken another sample down here 
where the clay is quite hard. And this must be a hundred percent clay. Amazing. So I've learned that this stiff clay is more clay than the clayish clay, whatever that means. There are some roots in this soil. I think it's from this Anthena, the home oak. When it's young, it invests a lot of energy in growing a taproot but as soon as it reaches about two meters it just spreads horizontally and this is where it gets its water from so I keep removing all these roots but should there be one and it disintegrates over time I'm not too worried I have spoken to my dogs if they will mix the bottom of the pond soil regularly and they said yeah give it to us no need for a pig or a duck they will do it so this will now take time um, I am I've just backfilled some of the clay the 90% clay after I've removed more of the subsoil and I've placed it here on the keyway now I'll just take a shovel and level it out and then I will start running over it with the excavator to compact it exciting times then I have to start digging this way to extract more of the clay and fill this keyway some rocks now and then but not that bad exciting times we are learning a lot nerve-wracking but rewarding Beautiful day, once again. Till next time, goodbye.